the time has come for the uh, Mr. Slukafasus, better known as a Asian upside down catfish, to leave the jerk tank and to be tried in a different tank. Over the years, I've noticed that uh, the little rascal partakes of the African cichlids every now and then. So I don't want him to be eating our cichlids anymore. Especially since now we got the blue African peacocks. Ever since I got him, he stopped coming for, for the feedings. Which, which has been like two weeks ago. So I'm, I'm pretty sure his, his sustenance are the new cichlids. And therefore I'm gonna take him out and uh, put him in the 1800 gallon. And see if he can survive in there. I mean, he can survive, I'm pretty sure. See if he doesn't bother anybody there. Is. It's gonna be a new home. We spent in that uh, 240 gallons a long time, probably like uh, five years maybe. Because he was a jerk. He killed uh, three or four uh, Lancer catfish, Arlequin Lancer catfish. He killed uh, one of the Trachydorus paraguayensis. It's a little dorated catfish. And he's managed to do all this when he was about two or three inches. The uh, dorated was four inches. And the Arlequin uh, Lancers were six inches. And he's managed to do it all, almost overnight. And I was clueless that he was able of, he's able, he's capable of such savagery at such tender size and age. So ever since then, he's been in the jerk tank. I think that happened in uh, 2016. And today is 2021. So yeah, he's been in there about five years. Probably total length is about 12 inches, tip to tip. So he's joining the black shark, another jerk that has made it into this tank. Black shark took to this very well, doesn't bother anybody as far as I could see. My water is a bit of cloudy, I am treating it against uh, parasites, so forgive me. But uh, yeah, he's he has good chances of getting along here fine because there is a lot of room. And his, I have a couple of pipes, output pipes in the back under which he can hang, because he likes to hang upside down 24-7. As you can see, he's even swimming right now upside down. He only goes right side up once in a while when I see him feeding, um, taking pellets off the bottom. Then he goes upside, uh, right side up. But usually he's upside down earning his uh, well-known name, Asian upside down catfish, Mr. Slukofasus. It's a jet black fish with a few white freckles or uh, specks on the body here and there. Took me a while to catch him with all that furniture in the in the jerk tank. It was hard to catch him. Got a nice long papilla, genital papilla, as you can tell. 
probably a male. It's a long papilla, like um, an inch long. Well, anyhow, this is his new home, 1800 gallons. It's about 16 feet long by uh, 6 to 7 feet wide, made out of two tanks. There is the black shark. I'm growing back her scale, or his scale, I think it's a he as well. Courtesy of Sexy, the Distichotus Sex Faciatus. I added a microbe lift, broad spectrum disease treatment, which is based on uh, malachite green and formaldehyde. It makes water a little bit cloudy because fish have been rubbing something made into our tanks, which uh, has been attaching to the fish, and fish has been trying to rub it off. So I added that uh, trusted uh, medication, hopefully it'll clear that. It's been probably about three or four days. That's why the water is cloudy. Anyhow, this is our little uh, development in the Asian upside down catfish universe. This time it doesn't look all that full, but he's upside down, so it's hard to say. But I'm pretty sure he was partaken of the cichlids. Otherwise he would have come out he would have come out to the feedings a long time ago. He likes pellets. When I throw uh, large NLS pellets, three millimeters. Maybe once in two days he comes out, and uh, once in two, three days he would come out and uh, inhale a lot of them and go back to his uh, ledge under which it was hanging. I showed you at the beginning of the video. That's his favorite spot. There's a big rock, flat rock, resting on the center blocks under which he would live and uh, almost never leave that spot. At least in the waking hours. I don't know what happens deep in the night. I tend to sleep in that time frame. Here he is. He found his pipes. He found his pipes. Yay! Oh my goodness. The pipes. The pipes. Now I feel better. I feel like I belong here. I can always go back to my pipes and hang under them upside down like a bat well for now he decided to explore a little more maybe there is a better spot but there is no better spot this is the only structure in the tank that hangs mid-water the two three inch pipes that bring in the the water from the filter He's breathing okay, not too fast. I don't think he's too stressed. You saw that he, he wasn't struggling much in the net either, which means he was probably calm, relatively calm. As if you can be calm when you're caught by, by a giant creature in a giant net. But it looked like he was calm. saying hello the way he killed those other fish was by stress it wasn't like physical damage or uh, any kind of uh, physical action that led to their demise it was the stress he was chasing them probably all night long all over the tank and that killed them. So it's not like this fish has uh, 
formidable teeth or a big uh, sharp spines. I mean, its spines are sharp, but it, it doesn't use them to fight or to exert its dominance or drive anybody out. He would just chase and nibble and nudge and scrape and chase and chase relentlessly until a tank mate that he he has objection to until a tank tank mate is dead or taken out. Doesn't do this to all the tank mates, only certain ones. That's the uh, difficulty in predicting what's gonna happen. Well, anyhow, he seems comfortable, he's exploring his new tank, learning its boundaries, what's where, who is where. We'll report on any developments of significance if and when they happen. Half a day later, we're sitting under the pipe as we should. This is about uh, two weeks later, the upside down Asian is doing okay, feeding very well, grabbing big pieces of fish. And pellets. Unfortunately, it cannot go under the pipe too much because the pipe has been claimed by uh, Cynodontis. So it prefers to stay on the black on the black back wall that's why you don't you can't really see it too well but so far it's a it's a success it's not bothering anybody and nobody seems to bother it so it's doing all right still swims upside down as it uh, as it likes so this is about three months later the upside down is doing very well. Most of the time it comes over and feeds. A lot of bodies in the way, but hopefully you see him. He still keeps upside down and grabbing a lot of food, pellets and fish. A lot of movement. Once in a while he would turn right side up to grab a piece of food, but other than that, he always keeps upside down, keeping true to his name. Big piece of fish and went to the back. 
happy. Here's our guy again. Third night in a row. Feeding with gusto. Go. Oh, he's done. He's over there by the by the back wall. Black wall. Black back wall. <laughs> That's his spot. He grabbed a big piece of fish and he's swallowing it right now. I don't know if you can see him by the back wall, hanging vertically, head, head up. So today was very quick. He grabbed something and uh, ran away. <laughs> Yummy. Let's try it again. Glass minnows, cut herring, and two kinds of pellets. New life spectrum, giant and large. Still upside down. Hasn't once turned right side up yet tonight.
said back to his wall. Right there on the wall. That's the spot he took. I don't know if you can see him against the back black wall. <laughs> 